All right, September 29th, 2012. It's going to be on a Saturday between uh, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. We're going to be doing the National Drug Take Back with uh, the DEA. Um, local law enforcement agencies here in Ellis County is going to be helping out as far as Waxahachie PD, um, Ennis Police Department. The last, uh, I guess, two years we've done this program, and it's worked out really well. The one in Waxahachie is going to be at 1201 North Highway 77 at the uh, Office Depot parking lot. The one in Ennis is going to be at uh, Super One Food Store parking lot at 1205 West Ennis Avenue. Okay. And we'll have deputies at both locations as well as um, members of the impact groups, the drug prevention resource groups that will be helping out also, volunteering their time. We're collecting uh, any pills that you want to turn in, um, they can stay in the bottles. You don't have to take the labels off, you know, because they're all going to be destroyed as far as thrown into an incinerator. Um, we can take the liquids, but no inhalers or syringes. We don't want the syringes because we don't want to get poked, of course, and the inhalers, the DEA is worried about them popping when they throw them in the incinerator. Because all this stuff after at 201, <laughs> I'm going to be leaving Ellis County and taking the stuff to the DEA in Dallas. And there we'll um, weigh them, and they'll send me the totals in about a week or if two. If you throw them out, you know, they end up in the trash, and then that ends up in our landfills. Or if you flush them down the toilet, that ends up in our sewer system, stuff like that. And this way, it's, it's disposed properly as far as being incinerated and, and burnt, you know, and... For the full version of the story, pick up a copy of the Waxhatchee Daily Light or read it online at waxhatchetx.com. This has been Andrew Branco reporting.